Hey everybody, I'm Dave Luke, the Trapper Guy. And today I'm gonna to be talking about gopher tortoises. Gopher tortoises are designated by the state of Florida as a threatened species. And they are a terrestrial tortoise that uh, basically means they're land-based. They don't go in the water. So uh, you never want to see a, a gopher tortoise and some people will mistake them as turtles, water turtles, and they'll throw them in a nearby lake and that will drown them. So definitely never do that. And the fact that they are state designated threatened, you don't even want to touch them. So picking them up or to put them in your car, taking them somewhere, that's against the law and there could be heavy fines on that. You can identify a gopher tortoise by short stumpy legs covered with scales. It has a high arching back and they can also live uh, over 50 years, um, in some cases even more. Now gopher tortoises reach sexual maturity uh, just over a decade and uh, breeding season uh, on average it changes sometimes in Florida. Uh, but usually springtime um, and eggs are deposited uh, usually uh, mid-summer, um, average about a half dozen and uh, they'll usually lay those eggs at the uh, front of their mound uh, which is basically called the apron of their mound. Now the eggs usually will hatch uh, kind of late summer, fall um, where you'll have the little tiny babies that'll cruise out and they're basically on their own. Uh, gopher tortoise mom's not like a doting mother. Uh, they go out and they just start eating and acting like tortoises do. Now gopher tortoises are herbivores. Uh, they feed on uh, basically uh, all kinds of uh, grasses, wire grass, uh, legumes, and uh, native cactuses. Uh, basically anything that's low to the ground because they're terrestrial and they're not really climbers. Now the distinguishing feature about a gopher tortoise, uh, they're associated with their burrows. And their burrows uh, average a dozen feet long, six feet deep, but they can't get as uh, long as 40 feet and 10 feet deep. And throughout their lives, sometimes they'll have several different burrows. Now being cold-blooded, gopher tortoises will use those burrows to regulate their body temperature. So really cold days they'll go down in the burrow, or even really hot days they'll go down in the burrow also. Now the importance of those burrows isn't just for the gopher tortoise. There's been about 300 to 350 different species that are commensal, which basically means they depend on those burrows for their life. And uh, burrowing owls, uh, different types of uh, native mice, indigo snakes, gophers, rabbits, invertebrates, uh, and also the rattlesnake, which will actually live down in the burrow with the gopher tortoise. Now, one of the reasons that the gopher tortoise is designated as threatened is uh, habitat loss. And they like very well-drained sandy soils, uh, types of uh, different uh, pine flatwoods. And unfortunately, those type of areas are highly uh, coveted by developers. So a lot of their habitat's been lost. In places where their habitat is protected, those burrows are very important to all those different animals for fires. Uh, when they do fire suppression, and also lightning and just natural fires that happen out there, a lot of those animals survive by going down on those burrows. Now because the gopher tortoise is a keystone species that so many other species depend on, um, they are protected. So remember, uh, you don't want to handle gopher tortoises. Uh, the only time you're allowed to handle them is if you see one crossing a busy road, uh, you can pick it up and move it to the other side. Just always make sure you move it to the side of the road that it's heading towards. Otherwise, it's gonna turn around and move back across. And like I said before, please don't throw it in a lake because you will drown and kill that gopher tortoise. Now, if you have any gopher tortoises in your yard um, or a place where you're gonna build, you have to go get a permit from the FWC when they will send out a registered agent uh, to relocate that gopher tortoise for you. Um, the trapper guy, myself, I am not a registered agent. Um, but all you have to do is get in contact with the FWC and they can walk you through the process. And if all you have is just a gopher tortoise in your yard, uh, as long as you don't have like a dog or something that's going to attack it, uh, enjoy it. Uh, they don't really cause any damage. He might have one burrow on your property. Uh, they don't eat enough vegetation to where he's going to eat your grass or plants down to the nubs. Um, give it a name and just let it go about its uh, way and enjoy them. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so when you're sitting home in quarantine you'll know when the new videos come out.